And the former British Prime Minister Boris Johnson will face a grilling live on TV over COVID lockdown parties. He has admitted he misled Parliament but insists he didn't do so deliberately. It was a scandal that helped bring down a Prime Minister with an 80-seat majority. The birthday cake, the suitcase of booze, this is recorded. the cheese and wine. This fictional party was a business meeting. <laughs> Did Boris Johnson recklessly mislead Parliament when he said this? All guidance was followed uh, completely during number 10. I, I repeat what I have said to him, uh, that, the, 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 uh, that I have been repeatedly assured that the rules, that the order, rules order, were not order, broken. Order, order. After a long wait, now we have this, Boris Johnson's defence, a 50-page dossier. In it, he effectively says he wasn't warned at the time. Look at this. I relied on assurances I'd received from my advisers, and it's clear now those assurances were wrong. As Prime Minister, I am reliant on advice from officials. People do mislead the House by accident. You know, that you, you, you misspeak. If you say you have to understand uh, every single nuance and you're going to be held to account based on new facts received and punished on that basis, ministers will simply come to the dispatch box and say, I can't possibly comment. We're going to have to have an inquiry. The former Prime Minister also effectively blames a number of officials. Look at this. He talks about a conversation he had with Jack Doyle, the then Director of Communications. He says he, Jack Doyle, explained to me that the media team held a regular Friday evening team meeting where they discuss what had occurred during the week and have a drink. As this was the last Friday of the year, there was also cheese and a secret Santa. I asked him, was it within the rules? He told me it was within the rules. But the committee investigating Boris Johnson say none of this evidence is new. Their initial report found that COVID rule breaches must have been obvious to the Prime Minister at the time. He was the Prime Minister, he was responsible, he wrote the rules and then he didn't abide by them. There's nobody to blame but him. Boris Johnson says he wouldn't have immortalised events with official photos had he known that rules were being broken. Are you confident your evidence will clear you, Mr Johnson? Tomorrow, he faces four hours of questions in front of the committee. Their verdict could see him suspended or even losing his seat. Ali Fortescue, Sky News, Westminster.